Hey everybody, Steve here at San Fernando Mission Cemetery in Mission Hills, California. And last Christmas around this time, my subscriber Chase Shepke left me a comment asking me to visit the grave sites of the cast members from the 2000 movie, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. I replied that I assumed they were all still alive, but then subscriber Craig Talbot left a comment informing me that sadly, two of the cast members had died. It turns out that actor Josh Ryan Evans, who played the young Grinch, and actor Rance Howard, who played the elderly timekeeper, are both laid to rest here in the Los Angeles, Southern California area. Unfortunately, their messages came too late for me to visit their grave sites last Christmas, but with this Christmas just a few weeks away, it seemed like a good time to see if I could find their grave sites to share with you this year. And the funny thing is, I was in this cemetery last December, before these two subscribers left their comments, and this plush Grinch doll placed here on this young girl's niche instead of flowers really caught my eye. I am pretty sure it's the only Grinch I've ever seen in a cemetery, so it seemed a bit like a sign that I was supposed to do this video. It's sad to see that this young girl only lived to be 12 years old, but she must have been a big fan of the movie, and it's fun to see her family remembering her in this way. Actor Josh Ryan Evans is laid to rest around 15 miles south of here at Forest Lawn in the Hollywood Hills. And he was around 17 years old when he played the role of the 8-year-old Grinch in the movie. Josh was 3 feet 2 inches tall and had a chondroplasia, which is a form of dwarfism which resulted in him looking much younger than he was and in him having the voice of a young child. Sadly, he died in San Diego from a congenital heart condition on August 5, 2002, at the young age of 20. During his short career, he appeared in more than a half a dozen movies and TV shows, and he's probably best remembered for his role on the daytime TV soap opera Passions in the role of Timmy Lennox, for which he won multiple awards. He was cremated and his ashes were interred or inured here in the Columbarium of Providence, which is located in the Courts of Remembrance all the way back to the third courtyard. Some of you may remember my Charles Pierce video that I did a couple of years ago and may recognize this cremation alcove. The cremated remains of quite a few other famous people are also interred here. He's certainly in very good company here. But it's funny because my first couple of visits here to visit those other famous final resting places, I didn't even know that his cremated remains had been placed here. I'll continue panning around so you can see what this open air columbarium looks like, just in case you missed my earlier videos. Unfortunately, as you can see, his niche plaque is pretty high up on the wall and a little bit difficult to read. Let me zoom in and see if I can get a little bit closer and maybe it'll be a little bit more legible. It's difficult to see, but his epitaph reads, Dream Big. And instead of saying birth and death on his plaque, it says sunrise and sunset. Here's a better close-up from his Find a Grave memorial page. The live-action 2000 version of The Grinch Who Stole Christmas was directed by Ron Howard and starred Jim Carrey. As I mentioned earlier, Ron Howard's dad, Rance Howard, also appeared in the movie. So did Ron's brother, Clint Howard, and Ron's daughter, Bryce Dallas Howard. It's pretty cool to see three generations of the Howard acting family dynasty in one movie. And I bet it was extra fun for them to make the movie together. So I just met Alan. He's an historian, a, a graveyard historian. And I'm here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, sitting in my car, and I was talking into my camera, and he recognized me, came over to the car to say hi. And so I told him that I was looking for the gravesite of Ron Howard's dad, Rance Howard. And he said he knows exactly where it is. I was here looking once before, I couldn't find it. So he said he would show me. I think he knows where every single gravesite is located here in this cemetery. He's sort of the unofficial Hollywood Forever Cemetery historian. So I'm just going to follow him over to this section. We can talk a little bit about Rance Howard at his gravesite. And of course, he's been in so many classic movies and so many classic TV shows. And I was doing a little research on him yesterday before coming here and discovered that he was also a child actor. That's how he got started as a child actor, just like his sons. Okay, so we parked right over there. It's the central street. 
and this is a completely different area than what I was looking last time. So you saved me a lot of time. Okay, I see. He's right in line with that ship, spaceship. Oh yeah, the spaceship, the very famous spaceship and headstone. Next to Fran Jeffries. You know who she is? No, who's Fran Jeffries? She, um, I don't know that much about her, but she was a, an actress and a singer in old movies. Okay, I'll definitely have to look her up. Oh yeah, it says American singer. I wonder if she was friends friends with Rance and and uh, Gene Howard. Now, on the website on Find a Grave, they just show his picture in the, of his grave site. They don't show a picture of her. She used to be at Horse Lawn Hollywood Hills, and when Rance and then Rance got remarried. To this woman over here, Judy Howard. Okay. Judy Howard. Then when he died, did he die first or did she? She died first. So they they buried him here, and they then that's when they moved. That's when Ron Howard moved his mother over here next to him between his two wives. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if one day Ron Howard will be here. Well, I, I mean, was it looks like there's that too. I mean, there's a couple spaces for Ron, and it wouldn't surprise me. I would think his, that his brother Clint. Clint, yeah, and I mean, look at all the spaces here. So. Yeah. There's definitely a lot, unless there are just unmarked graves here. Well, that's surprising that there's a lot of unmarked graves. Yeah, this one, there's such a premium for space. Mm -hmm. And it does seem like most of them have been taken. There's not a lot of extras yeah. left over, it doesn't seem. Well, I think they have more room than you think. Plus, over behind this, um, the Abbey of the Psalms, they're building a whole new uh, mausoleum? mausoleum. Oh, really? On Gower Street. Oh, really? the Gower Street. That, uh, on the other side of the street or just no, along on this the... side of the street. Behind there is yeah. it was a it was a maintenance area for oh. years. Oh, okay. So they're changing it and they're building um, uh, another mausoleum, like nice. a, a multi level mausoleum. Oh that's mausoleum. nice. Well it's so popular here. I'm sure there's just so many people who want to be buried here. Yeah. At some point. <laughs> so oh okay, you you just saved me probably an hour or two. I'm not sure I would have found this at all actually because I was looking way, way over there. So they, the, the directions and find a grave pointed over that way? They said that this was in this sec is this like section C or section E no, or something? 13, section 13. Okay, section 13. If you go by the numbers. It that's the all they too. said was section 13. And I don't think they gave a grave marker, but even in here, this cemetery is not really good as, as far as having those little round markers where you can no. see where you're going. So you kind of just have, at least you know yeah. you're in this, it's probably in this one big section. There was a good photo. I think maybe it was Fran Jeffrey's photo, but it didn't show her name, it just showed that. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, but look, there's so many that look just like it, mm -hmm. all these tall headstones. So yeah, sometimes it really can take a long time, as you probably know. I mean, yeah. I'm sure it happens to you too. Yeah, I've been, I've been over every section of the cemetery, and yeah, you're right, those little markers, it's rare that you find one of those. Yeah, some cemeteries are really, really well marked. This is not one of them, but yeah. it's smaller and fairly easy because most of these are, you know, and find a grave, which does help. Um, I don't post there a lot anymore. I, no. I post more. I have a, a, a site on Facebook for my book. Oh, okay. And I do a lot of posting there. And what's your Facebook uh, site? That um, people it's can called visit? Cemetery of the Immortals. C Cemetery of the Immortals. C Cemetery of the Immortals. Of the Immortals. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll see and if I can follow you there. It's a history of Hollywood Forever Cemetery. This week, I want to thank my newest Patreon supporter, Kevin Cole. Thank you, Kevin, for your very kind donation to my channel. It means a lot, and I really do appreciate it. Donations like yours really do help make future trips like this possible. So, Alan, thank you once again. I'm so glad you I ran into you, or you ran sure. into me. You're welcome. So until next time, thanks for joining us, everybody. Thank you.